I'm going to show you how to repair your fused items in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So for example, my inventory, I have this Flux Core 3 pounder and it's about to break, but I really, really want to keep that Flux Core 3. I don't want it to just explode. So what I can do is I can go to this place. Uh, this is the Natak Shrine up in the sky over at the Akala Sky. You can go here to the Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower. You can launch up into the air and then you can land on this platform right here. And there's a device here that you can build with and then you can use it in order to fly all the way up here to this shrine. Then you're going to get this shrine and then once you have the shrine you can repair your weapons quickly whenever you want. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here and by default this thing's already facing the way we want it to face. So we're going to go here and wait and it's going to launch us off into the sky like this and then we're going to let ourselves fall through this and then we're going to dive down to Tari Town. And this is like the fastest way to just get here. So that way, that's like, that saves you a ton of time. That way it's like whenever you want to get a repair, the biggest thing you got to wait for is like basically the loading screen. So you're going to go here and you're going to fly over to this area. This, you'll see this platform over here, these squares. And it's going to be this guy here, this little baby Goron guy. You'll talk to him and for 20 rupees, you can break down whatever thing it was that you were, um working or I wanted to replace so my flux core three pounder uh so I can go ahead and I can break it down but there's a little more than you want to know about this than just this okay because what you put it on is what matters here so this will not repair the base weapon so that stick that stick is still broken garbage so I'm gonna pick it up and I'm going to throw it away okay so now I'm going to take a different thing so what I recommend doing is finding anything that has extra durable and the easiest things to find for this are sticks. You can find sturdy long sticks, sturdy whatever sticks, and then once you take one of those, you can uh, use fuse, put it back on a brand new stick, and now I've got it, the flux core on a brand new stick. So that's what I can do in order to repair these weapons. Now, if you want some sturdy sticks, I mean, you can cut down logs and stuff, and that's great and all, but that's like, oh, that's gonna take forever. The easiest way to get it is every, like, hour or two, items respawn over time in this game. Blood Moon's Makes, makes some things respawn, but some things it's over time. But what you can do is you can go to the Mirari Inn Shrine down here on this island. You can glide here from this point over here, or get here with a boat, whichever way you want to get here. Just go to this place, do the quest here, get the Mirari Shrine behind the pirate boat beneath the island, and then you'll be able to teleport to this place whenever you want. And this place, you can go here every hour or two after everything's respawned, and there are a ton of free sturdy sticks that you can get in this place. So this is a super end game place, but it's actually, you don't need to fight anything to get these sticks. So you'll go, you'll go over here and you'll glide over to this, fall down to here, and right here already is a sturdy long stick and a sturdy wooden stick. Then you're gonna just climb up this ladder. And then you can go over to here and there's another sturdy long stick right there. You can do that in order to grab all your sturdy long sticks, and then you'll have, um, you know, you can just get the sturdy long sticks, and then you can go over to Tari Town, and then take off your attachments and put them onto the weapons. Now, as for the attachments, uh, there's a bunch of different attachments. When you look at your items here, you notice at the bottom right says Fuse Attack Power 6, Fuse Attack Power 10, 6, etc. So you can find really powerful items by beating powerful enemies. For example, a diamond has 25 fuse power. Or we have this thing, the blue maned Lionel Saberhorn, which I don't remember, I got from a boss or something. It gives 33, for example. But the easiest ones to get, in my opinion, the easiest thing to do is just go over here to the Rebella Wetland Skyview Tower and then launch up into the air and glide over to the Kum Kumamayan Shrine. And from here, there are three or two different Flux Construct 3s that we can fight. So get, get like really strong weapons so you can actually kill these guys because these guys are really tanky. And also, uh, be sure to save your game before fighting them, because if you don't have a lot of hearts, they can just one-shot you. But you can go to here, and there's a Flux Construct that you can kill, Flux Construct 3, right over there on that platform. So you can just run over there to them. And then on top of that, if you go south of here, there's um, another one. I'm trying to get oriented here. It's, it's over this way. I can't see it from here. But there's one, another platform over this way. And you'll be able to just glide there. We can get up on here, and then fly over like this, and then glide, and if you have enough stamina, then you can glide over to this, and there's another Flux Construct 3 to fight over here. So you can go to this one, and that one, every, people said every Blood Moon, but from my playthrough, maybe it was just a bug, 
But I had a Blood Moon before and I came back and these guys had not respawn. So I'm wondering if they're just on the same respawn as a lot of other things. But if you don't know in this game, there's like a respawn system for a lot of items and weapons and things. Where every minute it just like has a chance to respawn a random item that you're missing basically from the world. And so basically every hour or two, most items in the game will respawn. So you can just come back to whatever. You can pick more fruit. You can do whatever. Same for the Flux Constructs. You can do get more of them. You can uh, you fight more of them. You can get more crabs in order to get stamina food. Which, by the way, if you want unlimited stamina food, check the description of this video. I have a link for a spot where you can go every hour to to get enough materials for six full heal stamina f foods. So just, you know, that makes your exploring way easier, way more fun. But yeah, you can just go and fight these flux constructs. And I'll show you a sped up version of the fight in case you don't know how to fight these guys. Okay, so there you go. That's how to fight a Flux Construct. If you needed to, you could slow that part of the video down. There's a button at the bottom right of the video player where you can slow down. Um, you can like reduce playback speed if you really want to. But that's how to fight a Flux Construct. Then after you get these Flux Construct 3 cores, so now we can go to our inventory, take that sturdy long stick we found, use the Fuse ability, and then fuse it with that and get a 36 power weapon that now we can replace whenever we want. Now, the only thing you really gotta be careful of is you gotta watch out for the me that message at the top of your screen where when you're fighting things, a message will pop up and say that the weapon's about to break. And when it says that, you do not have very many hits left. So you gotta be aware of that and then stop using the weapon when it says that so you can go repair it. But that's why I like to use the Flux Construct Cores 3s because for these, uh, they're so easily replaceable. Also, killing this guy gives Sage as well. Small stone believed to have belonged to a Sage. Holding it in your hand, you can feel the remnants of a strong bond. So that's definitely an important key item that I did not realize was here, actually, because I hadn't yet killed this guy just yet. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a key item. Now, if you find any static spawns of better weapons that have that extra durability, that'll also be really helpful for this. And also, there's some cool things that you can find that you might want to reuse, even though they're not super powerful, like the electric lizard part. I don't remember what it was called. I don't even know where it is in my inventory, but I already took it off from whatever weapon I had. And it was the thing that when you hit enemies, it, like, shocks them. And that thing's like another amazing thing to have if you can get it and then never want to have it break basically because it's super, super overpowered. Well, I don't want to drag this video out any longer, guys. It's already way too long for my liking. So hopefully it helped you out, guys. Now you know how to repair your fused weapons, how to have super strong weapons all the time by abusing the repair mechanic, and just how to repair these things and reuse these things in general in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.